Apple's launch of the iPhone 10 was met with great applause. This is iPhone 10. One of its new features is something called Face ID. Used for unlocking the iPhone, its digital payments, and emojis that mimic your face. By mapping more than 50 facial muscles in real time. Never mind that the idea is not a new one. But how worried should you really be about your face data? For one thing, it really cannot be compared to India's unique identification system. Because unlike an Aadhaar card, buying an iPhone is not a must. And an iPhone does not guarantee you essential government services. While Aadhaar's biometric information is stored in a central database, from which leaks have been reported, the iPhone claims to store your facial data in a secure enclave, which means it's processed and stored within the phone and not on Apple's cloud servers that have been famously hacked earlier. All this is based fully on the consumer's trust of the brand, and Apple has already taken a subtle dig at its rivals on this subject. We don't mine your email, your photos, or your contacts in the cloud to learn things about you. We honestly just don't want to know. But if its Face ID technology is seamless as it claims, then it has to be on all the time which raises the question of whether third-party apps like Facebook and Google installed on the iPhone 10 would make use of it. We just have to wait until users get to hold it in their hands.